Check this video out with me. Have you ever had an encounter like this before? Because it's not coincidence. Let's play it. I don't read the Bible, but I sit there, started praying three times a day. My prayer started like this. God, I don't believe in you. I think it's fake. I think it's for weak people. But if you're out there, I want to know something. A girl and I, we're in the car. We're having a big fight. She leaves. I say, God, I haven't spoken to my mom for five years. But if you exist, I would love to talk to my mom. 30 seconds later, I get a call from a block number. I don't want to answer the phone. And it's my mom crying. Why are you crying? She says, I got the feeling you were in pain. I hang up the phone. I sat in that car that night, chills all over my body. I'm like, oh my God, either this is ironic or this is real, but the level of coincidence is a little too real. I chose to believe it was God and he has my back and he's had my back from day one. That level of confidence I got from that moment that somebody was watching me and had my back is the reason why I am where I'm at today. I make my decisions purely knowing he has my back. And if you ask me what's one of my biggest fears, is losing his favor. Because to me in life, when you get a person that has your back, you take that for granted, you're a fool.